morning everybody this is just amazing Qué cosa tan hermosa wow good morning Sonia good morning everybody Another uh, windy, uh, overcast, but beautiful song. Yes, Sonia, I was in my home, and from my kitchen window, I saw these colors, and I said, oh, I better go across the street and share this with my friends. It's very, very quiet today, this morning, you can see. It has been very windy every day for the last probably three weeks stormy overcast because I guess the storm so it's all good but here yeah now you can hear me better Mm-hmm. 
we can park here on the end. Maybe we have a little chat. <laughs> Hi, Dora. Let me flip it over. And there. Maybe if I go the other side, the other way, because. Let's see? This way better? Ah, yeah, this, I think this is better, right? Right? Okay, how is everybody? I hope everybody is doing great. No, I am. Do you need plastic surgery? No. <laughs> Do you go like that? I go like that. Do I need plastic surgery? Anyhow, um, I hope everybody is uh, staying calm, cool, collected. Um, let me see anybody has any comments, anything that we can to the fat. Ah, hi. <laughs> isn't that beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? What would I say to you today? Uh, what I said to you today is, uh, you know what I noticed in the world right now? There is a spiritual corruption. Um, and it really, no, you know, it's just like I, I see and I see how limited we are as, as, as creatures of those three dimensions of body, mind, and spirit. We're supposed to have those three dimensions, um, body, mind, spirit. And uh, it seems obviously uh, we, got, we don't take the time to, hi, good morning, uh, to develop that part of us, the, the, the spiritual part of us. So I, I, I witness, so I, I present, or I notice, or I'm aware of how corrupted we are spiritually. What do I mean by spiritual corru uh, corruption? What I mean is this. I use, I'm gonna use, illustrate that with an example. Let's see Mandela, Nelson Mandela. Let's see Martin Luther King. I look at those people and they had integrity. Um, and they, they didn't fall into a spiritual corruption. And to me, a spiritual corruption is when you say one thing and then you behave another way. Mother Teresa is another great example of those people who are evolved spiritually. Jesus, the Lord Jesus also, he always behaved according to what he said. And I see that we say one thing in one, one day and the, the, the next hour we are behaving another way. Uh, the Bible talks about double-minded man is unstable in all his way. And you cannot be talking about love and, you know, all the time you're hating people and then you're talking about love. You cannot talk about hating people and then or being, like, talk about being loving and then and, and on the other side, you hating and you, the, 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 you know, all this negativity that you see around the world right now. And it dawned on me to the, the other day, in the last 40, 48 hours, I said, wow, we are a spiritual corrupted beings. We all have a sense of what integrity is. And I look at historical examples, starting with Jesus Christ. Jesus always said that we, we have to be like godly we have to we have to imitate and that's what um what many things in the bible talk about that we're supposed to be the image of god and and, uh, and, and it's so um hypocritical and it's so offensive and it's so um ugly because what if happened it makes the person ugly let me tell you one thing you know what ugliness is ugliness is when you say you are a loving person and then you're hating people and you are labeling people and you are denying people and you are negating people because once you you label me you negate me so i think we have to pause i think i, I and i'm not talking about you know i'm talking about people who 
probably watching this video right now, people who really are serious about their spiritual development, because it's an unbelievable contradiction. Think about it. Stop for a minute. How can you be loving and you hating people? How can you hate people and be loving? How can you do that? You can only hold one thought at a time. And like the Bible said, a double-minded person is unstable in all his or her way. So I'd like you to pause for a minute because you, and then we, we, you teach by example. You teach, you know, all oh, your children, you're going to, you're going to teach your, teach your children character and integrity, and you are not. And you are in one, you know, character and integrity, and then you are insulting, the, the, you know, negating, labeling in a negative way, in an instructive way. That's no, that's not very spiritual. That is ugliness. That is a spiritual, is what I call a spiritual corrupted. We are spiritually corrupted. We have to make our mind. Or you are loving like Jesus, Mother Teresa, people with character and integrity and uh, um, spiritual integrity, such as Mandela, if you want to look for examples in this world, we have those people. Because you have to be one thing or the other. You cannot master. Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve the evil and you cannot serve God. You either choose evilness, ugliness, or you choose godliness. What are you going what is your choice? Pow! <laughs> oh, that's not a nice view. Okay. Buenos días, mi Latina. Bueno, en la reflexión de hoy estoy eh, hablando acerca de la, la dualidad que existe ahorita en el mundo, de las personas que eh, de una parte dicen que son a personas que aman y de, de otra parte están odiando. Entonces yo no entiendo cómo podemos amar y odiar al mismo tiempo. En la Biblia dice que no podemos ser de doble, la mente no puede ser doble, porque cuando tenemos una, dobles pensamientos siempre estamos confundidos y en problemas. Entonces a que, personas que, de, que, de, que piensan que son... Que son eh, eh, personas de bondad y, y, de, y, de, y de buena vibra y tal y qué sé yo, pero en el otro lado hacen lo contrario de eso. Eso es lo que yo llamo el, el, la corrupción espiritual. He descubierto, me he dado cuenta que nosotros como seres humanos estamos corrompidos espiritualmente. ¿Y qué quiero decir yo con estar corrompido espiritualmente? Es que de una, en una, por un lado, por un lado de tu boca, tú no puedes decir, yo soy una persona que ama el mundo, que soy una persona esto, y por el otro lado estás insultando, estás odiando, estás poniéndoles etiquetas, estás negando la existencia, la esencia de otros seres humanos. Para mí, eso es lo que yo llamo la, espirit la corrupción espiritual. Y esa corrupción, por ejemplo, ¿qué dice Dios? Dios dice que debemos de ser amor. ¿Por qué? Dios es amor. Entonces yo no puedo ser amor un día y odio en otro día. Yo no puedo estar amando ahorita a ti y el otro día te estoy odiando, ¿me entiendes? Proyectando esa energía negativa. Y con eso yo digo, Pau, tú dices, wow, Pau. <risa> Déjame cambiarle la, la, la cosita aquí así. Ah, very nice, very nice. Ok. Bueno, y ese es mi... And that's my reflection for today. Spiritual, yeah. Sonia, because, Sonia, you, you Sonia, it's like Jesus. Oh, le, 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 we can take any, you can know, I think the Bible says it better. A double-minded man is unstable in all his way. I can, I cannot be in, it, it really, it, it's really, Lost me, ma. I cannot wrap my brain around it. That I'm gonna be. I can't even explain it because it's a duality of oh, I'm talking about values. I'm talking about oh, love and forgiveness and all that kind of stuff. And on the other side, you are promoting it. How? How can that make sense? That doesn't make sense to me. So, and that's probably, um, and, and, I, and I think we, we, people who are serious about the spiritual development, we have to stop that. You cannot go around hating people in one, one, in one minute and the other one minute saying that you are a loving person. To be or not to be. 
you know you cannot you cannot do that well i'm i'm speaking to myself okay i don't telling you guys what to do anything but that is for me i'm i'm so happy i'm i'm a mono i'm a black and white person i'm you know i'm either with the lord believing what god says or with the devil hating and destroying and all this nastiness that doesn't solve anything that makes us ugly and makes us corrupted spiritually and if you don't want to be corrupted spiritually and you're really serious if you're not lying to yourself and you're really serious about your spiritual development you better stop and you start every single day you have to to be like like the lord says like god says like jesus said be like him he says like we we he, he he wants us to imitate jesus we have to keep we have to keep the eyes on the lord because we have to see is will the lord be happy with my me hating you will the lord be happy with me calling you name will the lord be happy with me uh, denying you will the lord be happy making lies about you will the lord be happy with that no that because that's the, the that desires the devil evilness negative energy you can call it anything you want exactly sonia yeah that's a shakespeare line you know because you are you you either are loving you either are godly you either are kind or you're not but you cannot say you are both you cannot you, you you and you take a glass i cannot put coffee in my in my cup and at the same time all this stuff in my cup no if i want to put milk in my cup i have to take the coffee out and put milk unless you make a combination but you know what i mean so anyhow so i hope you really take your spiritual development seriously and don't become this uh, hypocrite like the ph the pharisees what, what is the bible called ph ph I, I cannot say in english right now you know they're liars they're hypocritical the pharisees because this only comes in spanish right now but anyway so that is don't be a spiritual. My whole point today is do not be spiritually corrupted. You cannot be both. You either are lo godly and loving or you are not. Again, you cannot do both. You cannot be loving in one side that you love people and on the other side you hating people. Because even Jesus says love your enemies. Jesus put it so beautiful. And you know why we are spiritually corrupted? Because we cannot rise to the standards, what Jesus says to love our enemy. He even said, you can, yeah, you can be nice to people who are nice to you, but can you be nice to people who are nasty to you? You know, that's why we are so spiritually corrupted because we don't have the desire to rise to that level of Jesus, to rise to that level of godliness, to rise to that level of higher consciousness, because we cannot match Jesus. But you know what we can do? Every single day, we can work to be close to him. We can work to be spiritually pure, because we lose our purity. We become corrupted. We lose our innocence. Do you know why we lose our innocence? Because we are connected with the world. And the Lord says, you are, you are in this world, but you're not of this world. And we become a part of the evilness of the world. And that's why God says, you are not of this world. You are here to be the light of the world. You are here to be the positivity of the world. world. You are here to encourage the world. You are here to be a good um effect in the world you are not here to bring bring darkness and we bring darkness into this amazing life that we have because we are spiritually corrupted and you are spiritually corrupted when you hold in your heart negativity as you speak like how did you put it out of the out of the pure sin of the heart the mouth speak out of whatever you have in your heart your mouth speak so I speak stop being a hypocrite not to the world to yourself because you have to live with yourself that's what I'm so happy with me that's what I'm so content with who I am and that's why I'm always by myself with the Lord because I know 
I am a, I know that I don't get into that kind of stuff. And it blows me away. That how can we, I cannot live with these two things. Yes, you know, so stop. And I tell you one thing, one day you're gonna die. I went to a funeral of a good friend of mine yesterday. And it's blown, it just one day, one day, you're gonna, all the stupidity, all the hate, all the fighting, all the offenses there, all the judgment is gonna come to an end. And you're gonna be in the presence of the Lord. And I hope when you reach that moment, you feel confident that the Lord will say, say, well done, faithful and great servant. And you know what? When I die, the Lord will say that to me because I work every single day that if I go today, he will be happy with me. Can you say that about yourself? Can you say that about your life? And with that, I say, Paul, you say, wow. And it's amazing because I was in my home and I saw the brightness and the Lord told me, go out there, share my beauty. Tell them that they don't, they don't become a spiritual corrupt, a spiritual corrupted. Tell my people. It's your choice. Wow. Well, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I came out and I did this. Thank you, God. And let's pray together. May the Lord shine his light in us. Just in us. We're not praying for the whole world. Like Jesus says, we don't, I don't pray, Father. Jesus says, Father, I'm not praying for the whole world. I'm praying for the one you assigned to me. May the light shine his light on us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love you. Pow. Bye. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anna. I love you too. Well, thank you for staying. I'm going to post this video in YouTube. Okay? I love you. Bye.